Here's the fifth thing that they've got. They can tell each other exactly what they think with no holds barred. They can do it, firstly, because they take complete responsibility for their bit. A friend of mine once said to me, he said, if you point your finger that way, there are three pointing back at you. Have you covered your own base first before you go pointing fingers at other people? They also are really brutally honest with each other with utter respect. They need to be confident with each other and themselves. Themselves primarily because if you're not confident in your own performance, it's difficult to take critical feedback. You tend to become defensive. So you've got to have confidence in yourself in order to be willing to accept critical feedback and, and invite it. You've got to have confidence in the other people and in your relationship, the strength of your relationship. Here's a group that did it really well. This is the England squash team, England ladies. They were and, and still are amongst the very, very best in the world. They dominated the world for about 15, 20 years. But they came second in two consecutive world championships. These guys were devastated, absolutely devastated. And, and they came back after their second defeat and they tore the floorboards up looking for the answer. Then they started to ask, okay, well, what do you need to do differently? What can you do better? What can I do better? What do we all need to do better? And the discussion got quite brutally honest. I was sitting there in some sessions going, ooh, ooh, wow. And then they put their arms around each other and went to the pub afterwards and had a drink. Because it wasn't ego-centric, it was mission-centric. It wasn't about me looking good, you looking small or whatever. It wasn't about me defending my position. It wasn't about any of that, it's just about finding the best answer. Why? Because it matters. Here's the last thing, they're always learning.